the 3D model of the re female reproductive system. Um, I'm going to take it apart and show you external structures and then internal structures as well. So if we look from the anterior view, which is what you're seeing right here, we have the mons pubis, we have the labia majora, labia majora, tucked inside there you can see the labia minora, so the external set of lips, the internal set of lips essentially. And if you look all the way at the bottom here, this would be the anus. So the vaginal opening is here, the anus is there, and then urination is going to happen or occur from more anterior there. So if I show you from a side view, a lateral view, you can see the end of the rectum, you can see the external anal sphincter muscles, and as I said, the anus is there. If I show you the superior view, you can see, again, this is where the process of defecation occurs. This is reproduction. You look at the uterus right here. And then urination, the bladder is here. So the, the uterus basically sits on top of the bladder. Now what you can see here as well is the broad ligament, the broad ligament viewable from the side as well. But the broad ligament is here. We have the ovary. There's the fimbrae and then the fallopian tube or the uterine tube that leads all the way to the uterus. If I take this one apart, again, just a mirror image of each other, you can see these processes and these structures pretty easily here. Again, defecation, reproduction, urination. And then here's the pubic symphysis and then the mons pubis. So this would be the rectum, the anus, internal and external anal sphincter muscles. This is the fundus. This is the body. This is the cervix of the uterus. And then remember the layers, perimetrium, myometrium, endometrium. This is the vagina or the vaginal canal and the introitus, that's the opening. And then the urinary bladder and the urethra that leads to the outside. So one, two, three holes down there. If I show you this from, again, the superior view and I take this off, you can do the same thing here, right? You can, you can see, oops, you can see where these egg cells would be released, picked up, and travel all the way to the uterus itself. So there's the fallopian tube, and then there's the ovarian ligament just, just posterior to that. But you can see where those egg cells would travel all the way through, implant themselves on that endometrial lining, and then again, await fertilization. Same thing on this side. Egg cell could travel all the way down here and then implant itself in that endometrial lining waiting for fertilization. And if that doesn't happen, this endometrial lining sheds and essentially that's the endometrial lining that's lost at the end of menstruation.